Hi hey, YouTubers, friends and family, RV Debs here. It is Wednesday and a little overcast day. Guess we're gonna have some fires in the fire pit soon. Hey chicks. Hey chickens. Who's gonna come up and talk to me? Who's gonna come up here? Huh? Who's gonna come up here and say hello? Oh, there you are. Hi, baby. Hi, babies. My little ones. Hi, girls. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi, Red. Hi, cutie. Hi, Reddy. Oh, yeah. You wanna pick the camera? Oh, now let me pick me. <laughs> Home. Home is where your heart is. Where you park it. A lot more stuff's been planted. Here, I'll show you. We have strawberries that are growing. Isn't that pretty? Onions, beans. This is all Swiss chard, collards, and I forget, I think some sort of lettuce. Coming up. What are those? Um, Pars. Uh, Bell peppers. There's some asparagus that popped up today. See how they could, you just break them off. I'll have to get those later. Every day it comes, they come up. Tomatoes. All oh, those are tomatoes. I don't know what that is. Let's see. Read it. More tomatoes. These are string beans. Gonna crawl up this lattice. They look good. Tomatoes. More stuff. Oh wow, neat. Little flowers. Cool. This is blackberries. A lot of berries are coming up too. That's gonna be fun to eat. These were just planted. This bush is a mulberry bush. And there are mulberries, see them? They're small and Probably the bugs will eat them more than anything. Yeah. And that's that. Looking good. Sounds like a farm, doesn't it? <laughs> the grass is green now. Winter is officially gone. You guys are noisy. You're noisy. <laughs> Hi, girls. Eggs there. Hi. Are you guys busy laying eggs? 
Are you? Hey, beautiful. They're big. <laughs> Hi. Some of them like to be petted. I haven't done that yet, but when Mark goes in here, they just want him to pet them. Look at these pretty girls. Yeah, I'm going to have to take care of them for like 10 days. Me. All by myself. And there's a cat to feed. Um, all kinds of stuff. i got to go to her mom's and get the mail. I mean, I'm going to be busy. Talk to you later. Good afternoon, YouTubers. RV Debs here with you, and it is a Thursday afternoon around 1.40 in the afternoon. And today I washed, I gave Lily a bath. Come here, Lily. Lily got a bath and so did Rosie. Yep. Smell nice and good. Real clean now. Thank you. Glad I did it. And Lily and Rosie. Rosie, can I have a hug? No. She's right here. <laughs> anyway, she had a bath too, so that was a big, big deal because I don't bathe them often enough. And I picked some asparagus for my dinner. Aren't they pretty? They are such good asparagus, really. That's how many buds from the night, the day before, you know, from the day before. So every day it's about a serving. It's not a big serving, but excellent little side dish, don't you think? And I really am enjoying having a garden, and it's they're just starting to uh, kind of you know show signs of buds and flowers. We've got um, a lot more than I said yet. I I made a, another video, which I will show right after this from yesterday in the garden. Today it's been overcast. It rained at night and thundered. It was really a thundery night and poor Rosie, she hates the, you know, the thunder that really gets her. So we all slept huddled together. <laughs> She's so funny. She can't take it. But uh, now it's not raining. It's just a little overcast and cool. Nice, nice day. The asparagus is giving off the, the, the really nice asparagus, but it's been planted longer. It was there last summer. So that's pretty cool. I have had a lot of comments and it's really interesting to read them all and to hear what you all have to say or think about things. Uh, yeah, I mentioned, you know, like legalized marijuana and that, that's, that it would be wonderful to be able to get medical marijuana for pain and any kind of ailment. But there, there's no way that that's going to happen in this in here. I would never grow it. Oh, no. No, uh, Knox City is not the place to grow. <laughs> but that's okay. And, I mean, if, if I could change one thing about this area in Texas, it would be that. Otherwise, I think it's a really nice area to live in, especially with the world the way it is. I think this is a real safe little spot to be in. I really can't believe some of the news that you read. It's really depressing. I, heart, I, I watch it, but... And everybody has their own thoughts on things. So that's, I don't like to talk political at all because uh, one person feels one way and another person feels a different way. I just know that I am I'm a pretty peaceful person. and You know, I was brought up in the 60s and 70s, which is, you know, peace, man. <laughs> that's the truth. So uh, that's what's going on here anyway. I... Um, um, I just wash the dishes, wash the dogs, and I'm gonna, I gotta get my paints out. One of the reasons I haven't been painting is I've got so much, you know, you live in a little small place and you, you accumulate things like, well, like books and magazines and, and pill bottles and, and just, I tell you, I have to just clear off so much stuff and then be able to, you know, get my paints out and be comfortable because it, you need space. Space is a real, that's the only thing. I don't, I like living in my travel trailer. It's not bad, but there are a few things about it that sucks. 
like lack of space. I am planning on eventually having Mark help me get rid of the couch and put in a, an easy chair because that would be, I do lean on my arm a lot and I don't even realize I'm doing it. I, whenever I realize I am leaning on my, on my arm like that, I take it off. It's not as bad as it was, thank God. I mean, really, I'm, I'm grateful. It has not worsened, and if anything, it's, it's healing slowly, and that's a good thing. Yeah. Um, but it's still, it's, it depends. Like, after I washed the dogs, my God, I was aching, so that's when the ibuprofen comes in handy and whatever I can take. Don't have a lot of choices. So that's what eventually I'm going to change this around. Then I've thought, well, maybe I should sell this and get something completely different. And then if I do that, then maybe it would be good to keep the, the, the couch that goes into a bed. I don't know. I just know that I'm here now and it be, would be really nice to have some sort of easy chair or a recliner or just a nice, comfortable, soft place. I don't have any soft place to sit. When I go over to Cat's, all their furniture is really soft, so that really feels good to take a break. But, yeah. Uh, in the kitchen, the cut, the cabinets are good. I have good cabinets. I have good storage. But I don't have counter space whatsoever. That makes it difficult when you're cooking. And I like to cook. I just don't know exactly what's going to happen. But then, you know, who does? We'll see. We'll see. Right now, this is what I have. It's paid for. I don't have to worry about it, you know, rent on it. So that's a good thing, too. Yeah, all in all, I'm fortunate that I, you know, paid it off when I did. That's about it for me today. It's not a lot, and I hope you're all having a really good day out there. The weekend's coming up, and we've got a busy weekend planned. I don't know what you all plan on doing for Easter. Let me know. Tell me about it. Uh, we're just going to have a family night dinner at the ranch, which is going to be actually like a Passover. Yeah, Pesach. So it's going to be a Passover type dinner on Saturday and then Easter dinner on Sunday at uh, another family member's. So good weekend planned. And then uh, we'll see what goes on from there. I'm not going to be doing too much today. I'm I'm glad. I mean, it's a good day. Kind of, kind of cloudy and overcast, and very comfortable outside. Talk to you soon. I love you guys, and I do read all the comments. Peace out. Somebody has a sweet tooth. She loves a lollipop. I don't usually let her lick my lollipop, but, oh, well, look at her. Is that good, Lily? <laughs> I 